Hello everybody! Today's video is going to be a quick video on how to move with your pets. As some of you may know, I am moving with all my pets into a new house. And thankfully my house is walking distance. <laughs> so it will be easy just to move my pets. And this may vary from um, person to person. This is also going to be a video on how to move with your rats, your rabbit, and a chinchilla. So I will uh, leave some time cards down below. Uh, so you could just skip through the video if you have a particular pet that you want to travel with. So I have three options right here as you could see. I'm going to start off with um, how to move with your rats. So first of all you want to make sure that you move everything before like all your house things before you actually move your pets. Just because uh, you don't want your pets to be too stressed out. They will be stressed out from um, all the noise and um, all the moving around, but they will have their own little area that they're used to and that they uh, could still smell themselves and they kind of feel safe in that area. So I would suggest moving everything out of your house first and then moving your pets last. And when you move your pets last, you will want to make sure that you have like a carrier or a small cage that you could um, move them in. If you already have a lightweight cage, um, then this isn't really necessary. You could just move your cage with your rats in it. Um, but I, I have a large critter nation. And sorry about the mess. I, again, I am moving, so there's boxes everywhere and just garbage everywhere. So I do have a large critter nation, which I can't <laughs> carry down the stairs and into a truck and everything with the rats in it. So I have to figure out a way to uh, move them safely. So what I chose for my rats is... I'm going to be moving them in this small cage and this is a living world hamster starter kit type cage again I would not suggest this for a hamster to live in um, their whole lives because it's too small if you want some uh, hamster care videos I would link all the links down below so you could watch those but I have this and I have the intention of using it just for a travel cage and what I have in it is an old t-shirt that the rats um, they know the smell of their area so they won't be too stressed out so I have an old shirt as well as a Heidi house which is a bender bridge so that they can feel secure and safe in there um, and there's also a level and I also have ha hammocks in here um, hammocks aren't really you don't really need them but I have them just because I know my rats like to sleep in hammocks especially when traveling um, so I put them in there, but some rats may be too, um, maybe too stressed out to use their hammocks. Um, but I just have that in there just in case. Another thing that you're going to want if you're going on a lo long trip is a water bottle. So I have my water bottle right here and I could just attach this easily to the cage like so. Um, but if you're going on a long, long bumpy ride, I would not suggest having, um, water belt water bottle or, or a short ride I should say a short ride a bumpy ride um, just because you don't want the rats to be sprayed with the water or a bump into it or anything um, but there is also an alternative to that you can feed a very um, high water content food such as cucumber um, or some sort of leafy green um, which is high in water content so that they could stay hydrated without actually needing a water bottle. I would not suggest this if your rats or animal is not used to vegetables or high water content vegetables because it can cause diarrhea and that's not good <laughs> and it can cause uh, stomach upset. Another option that you could put your rats in is a cat carrier. Now I, this cat carrier is I think like 15 years old, it's really old. Um, but it's coming very handy and what you're gonna do is just put like a line of fleece right there so that so that they could hide in um, and you're also able to put a water bottle on if you're going on a long trip or moving uh, pretty far away you are going to want to put food in their cage uh, just so that they have something to snack on maybe a few treats uh, chew toys all that just to make them feel more comfortable so that's what I have for the rats. Now I'm going to go on to the rabbit. 
Now for a rabbit, if you have a rabbit, I would just suggest having a cat carrier. Um, if you have more than one, obviously get a bigger cat carrier because this only fits one. <laughs> um, I would only suggest a cat carrier just because rabbits aren't very good on their feet. They're, they become very unbalanced, so they will start hitting um, the sides of the carrier and that could uh, seriously injure them. So I would suggest um, having a carrier that just fits their body. Uh, another thing is you can put um, blankets on the side so that they don't move around. Um, if you do use a larger cage, I would suggest putting lots of towels and blankets so that they don't uh, move around and hurt themselves during a car ride. Um, so what I'm go going to be doing is I put a blanket on the bottom. Um, obviously, more nicer than that. but And this blanket is Lemmy's favorite, so it's the one that he... Um, sleeps on all the time so it, it smells like him it has all his fur on it and that will make him feel a whole lot comfortable I would also suggest putting a large pile of hay in here because rabbits have uh, si sensitive di digestive systems and if they don't eat for long periods of time they can go into GI stasis which can cause so many problems and even death um, so definitely a pile of hay in here um, I'm not going to do it right now just because I am not moving until two days from now. Um, so I want this carrier nice and clean. Um, also, I would suggest putting a blanket on top if you're care if you're bringing them anywhere and feed them uh, lots of veggies. They might not want to eat just because they don't they get really stressed out. Uh, but it is also it is good thing to have it just in case they decide to have a nibble. Also, if you're going on a long trip or um, moving far away, I would suggest stopping uh, once in a while just to let them eat or drink. Um, you can have a water bottle on here, uh, but if it's a bumpy ride, I would not put it in here just because you don't want your rabbit getting wet because it can cause a lot of health issues as well. Um, so again, leafy greens, um, veggies with high water content is always a good idea. Um, so yeah, I would also suggest putting a blanket on top just so that they have more privacy and aren't as stressed out and they can't see everything that's going on in the background. Again, I would suggest putting, uh, moving all everything before you move your pets. Just so that when you get there, get to your destination, all their stuff is already there and um, they have familiar scents. And I will be doing a vlog and I will show you me moving all the animals. So yeah, that's for um, Lemmy, the rabbit. Now on to Gracie. Now moving with a chinchilla can be very tricky just because they are very high anxiety animals and they like to jump around and just, um, they're kind of like squirrels basically. It's really hard to um, let them adjust to things. So right here I have a Tupperware tub, um, which I cut out the top. Um, I did this actually in college. For the rats um but i cut out the top and i have this mesh right here so that there's quite a bit of ventilation gracie has the biggest cage just because uh she likes to move around more uh, than all the other animals um she needs more space i should say um so i have this uh diy cage travel cage for her and inside i actually have her hidey house um I did clean out her cage, so her cage is completely empty now. Um, but she is in her holiday, <laughs> her holiday cage, um, which is just a different cage, uh, which has her a different Heidi house. So I have her regular Heidi house in here, which again, um, so she won't get as stressed out because she could smell everything. That's hers. I also have a, um, what is this? A, like a silk pillowcase. And that is just to keep her cool. It is very important to keep chinchillas cool, especially if you're moving. My house is air conditioned right now, and the house that I'm moving to is air conditioned. Um, but the drive there won't be, so I gotta make sure she stays as cool as possible. Which brings me to the next point. I do have her chinchilla, which is a marble uh, slate, uh, which keeps them cool. And underneath, I actually have a cooling pad so before I leave I will be putting this in the fridge 
and then uh, putting this in her cage in, or in this bin uh, just to keep her cool for the ride there. Um, I, I do not, I would not suggest putting water at all in their cage just because chinchillas definitely cannot get wet at all. This can cause fungus and um, a bunch of health issues that you do not want to deal with. Uh, another thing is definitely put hay in here as well because chinchillas are just like rabbits and have a sensitive digestive system and need to constant, constantly be eating or else, or else you'll go into GI stasis and again more health problems. I do have some chew toys in there because this is a plastic tub. Uh, chinchillas are prone to chewing everything and I don't want her to start chewing on the tub because again it will cause medical issues for her. Um, so I have some chew toys down there to hopefully um, distract her from chewing on the plastic. She might still be a little too stressed out to chew on the plastic and thankfully my trip is only a like, two minute drive uh, so it probably won't be a problem. Um, but I will be bringing all her stuff beforehand and then putting her in here and then moving her to the new house and then so she'll have everything that um, she knows. It will again be stressed out for a few, um, a few days or a few weeks, even a few months, uh, but she will get over it um, because Gracie is used to moving, unfortunately. So yeah, so that's Gracie's little setup. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, and I hope that it was a bit uh, informational for you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I will be doing a vlog of us moving so that you can see um, everything that we're going through. There's Lemmy. Lemmy doesn't care so far about the move. All of his things are gone <laughs> except for everything that's in there. Um, but he doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all, which is good. So hopefully, so hopefully the move is uh, very peaceful and not as stressful on them as I think it should be, <laughs> or I think it would be. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below, and I will see you guys next time. If you like the video, please subscribe, please like, and please comment, and I will see you all next time. Bye!